Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Last episode, well, we had a little bit of problems with the Axe Beak. Mostly because I ran out of magic and didn't realize it. And here's the Wind Temple and we meet Sprite's Grandpa. And the Empire apparently came here and did the Wind Seal and they're basically responsible for what happened to the Sprite's Village. Of course, humans' fault. We're always ruining the world, even in real life. Oh well. And here we get our third elemental, Sylphid, the master of wind. Alright, so. Yes, and the girl gets the analyzer magic as part of Sylphid. It helps you learn what those orbs, what spell you need to use on the orbs, and it also tells you the weakness of enemies, and their HP, things like that. Alright, and uh, let's make sure you go up to the altar and do this. And now, presto changeo! Yeah, between videos I did a little bit of level grinding. About three levels or so, and I also got. <laughs> okay, there's a little cat fight going on here. Shut up, you, I'm recording. Um. Yeah, my cats don't really like each other. <laughs> it's too bad. The one younger cat, he's trying to, you know. Get the older one some kisses, but she really doesn't like him. <laughs> but anyway, I got the sprites. Uh, Fundine Gnome and Sylphid up to level 3, and I also got the girls Fundine up to level 3. Uh, there aren't really that many useful spells for the girl in Sylphid. Um, is well, pretty useful, but I didn't think it really. I don't think it really matters whether it's level 0 or level 8. Anyway, here's how Analyzer works. I don't know if you can hear my cat growling in the background, but... <laughs> They're not doing anything to each other. I'm making for an entertaining episode, I guess. And, okay, so... Yeah, we needed selfless magic, too. <laughs> Try to stop. <laughs> um, yeah, we needed Sylphid's magic to get past that orb there, so good thing we found it. And uh, this is the other part of the upper forest. Um, I'm just sort of hanging around, killing enemies. You know, because it's a place you kind of. I mean, if you want to, you can just blast through this forest part here. Really nothing special. Just a little area you go through to get to the next area. Never really come back ever after that, either. Riot gas! Oh, I thought I'd be knocked unconscious. And now I get a chance to use the Mitch Mallet for real. Hooray! Right, I guess riot gas can, um... Just inflict some sort of status ailment on you. I think usually it just knocks you out, but for some reason that time it, um, that reason, for that time, for some reason it, uh, mini me, I guess. I don't know if you ever get a mini spell or if you can do that to the enemies, I don't think you can. 
be pretty funny to see like a mini silk tail hopping around. like the big lake, I guess. It's the most notable part of this part of the forest. And, uh, yeah, I guess nothing down here. Come on, I'm hitting him! <laughs> I don't know, these, uh, crawlers, they seem to have pretty high evades sometimes. And, uh, you know what, screw that guy. I need to move on. <laughs> so, you just go up here to the next screen, and I got silenced. Like, really, silence in this game isn't a big deal, it just reverses your controls, and I mean, really anybody can deal with that, it's not really hard or anything. And, uh, no, let's heal up a little bit. That would be a good idea. Uh, I might be a little bit over level for this part. Oh, here's Cabin Travel, that we'll need to use later, but he's uh, temporarily out of fuses. Yeah, I might be a little bit overleveled. Um, I don't know, when I play these games, I like to keep my levels maybe a little bit higher than normal. Especially useful in this game because, I mean, at this point you're only getting like one or two, no not two, you're only getting maybe one MP gain per level. So your MP is still really, really low at this point. Like, I think I, right now I have about 16 MP. So that means you can cast a spell eight times. And the extra MP really, really comes in handy. And it's not the right way. Yeah, and there's a few places I like to just do a little bit of leveling up. This is one of them. Like, especially in the spring and summer areas of the uh, upper forest. Because silk tails are really easy to kill and so are water thugs. And I would kind of stay away from fall and winter because they have those damn owls and their first attack is usually to silence you. Okay, uh, hit those spikes there, Sprite. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And these are the kimono birds. They summon pebblers, they have pretty high defense, and they are immune to a uh, balloon. Ooh, someone gained a level. I guess it was a girl. And now you reach level 21. Oh, come on, there's always room for chocolate. And here is Mantango. And, uh, didn't want to do that. I wanted to talk to that mushroom there. Thank you. Welcome to Mantango. Yeah, the other mushrooms are trying to walk around, spit their spores out at us, and get us unconscious. We say Mantango to greet each other. Gogma means goodbye. Well, got my team, loser. That's not that dangerous. King Truffle, huh? Well, we'll, go, we'll have to go see him. Okay, I didn't mean to talk to you twice. What do you have to say? I just got here. <laughs> it's the first time I ever talked to you. It's the first time I ever seen you. Oh well. Fung Castle. And on the left here we have an equipment shop and we get our first real upgrades in a really, 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 really long time. 
And, uh, I think we're only gonna be using this armor for a little bit. Oh, and, uh, between videos also, I uh, sold off my old equipment. It's good to do that periodically. But yeah, right after the next box, pretty much we're gonna get a really great armor upgrade. And, uh, well, let's just equip it right now. Ooh, fancy! get a helmet upgrade for the boy there. And now we just have to put him in some fancy overalls. Alright. Now let's continue on into Fun Castle. Oh, look, there's Watts over there. King's inside. Where else would he be? All good, I hope. Um, yeah, I don't need to talk to Watts now. I've already... Leveled up all my weapons. White dragon, huh? Hmm, we'll have to go investigate that white dragon. Might be of use to us. So those dragons are similar to mana beasts, huh? He's a reckless but splendid ruler. Hello, Truffle. You have legends too? Yep, that's us. We're the legend. We're the myth, the legend, and, uh, yeah. We're gonna save the world. Ooh, something upstairs. Thank you. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Some hate beds. No, we got... Javelin Sword. Thanks a lot. Weapon I'll probably never use. Oh, we'll see. Okay, there's no door there. Actually, let's talk to Watts for a sec. We can get our javelin forged. For no reason, really. I don't know, maybe... Maybe these weapons I'm not using have some sort of, uh... Properties that can inflict the elements on the enemies, I don't know. And there's a little secret right there, you can go back to that side of the counter, but there's nothing to do there. Oh well, let's rest up. I'm not gonna have that situation with the axe beak happen again. Oh no. Oh shoot, I should have talked to that guy. Alright, what do you have to say? You may pass. Well, thanks a lot. Actually, before you talk to King Truffle, he'll be standing in, uh, in front of the door, and you can't leave without talking to the Truffle there. Alright, let's beat up some water thugs. I think in the Japanese game it would be called Saiyajins. At least that's what they're called in Seeking Intensity 3. Come on, hit the damn crab. So hit the crab. There we go. Okay, uh, enough of that. <laughs> Let's just uh, get this water plug here. There we go. And a crawler. There we go. And here we are back in that cave we were before. But, yeah, see you next time.